So now in this video we come back to my uh, op amp voltage follower. So you can see when I lower the voltage of the trim pot we can go all the way to the negative uh, supply voltage 0 volts or all the way to the positive supply voltage 9 volts. It actually doesn't output 9 volts but uh, for most of the way it follows the uh, voltage. We'll zoom back here and take a look at the voltage we have at the uh, trim pot and you can see it's about uh, 4 volts right there and uh, it's not completely accurate but uh, there you can see we got the uh, same voltage at the output that we have at the input right there. If I lower the input voltage, the output voltage goes down. They're following each other. Now the power supply voltage is set to 9 volts. There's only 8 squares going up, so we can only measure 8 volts there. It's above uh, off the screen there. But you can see somewhere around 7 volts. I bet it's closer to 7.5 it's not completely accurate. Um, we hit the limit of the output. So that's not the voltage. That's the limit. I'll set about halfway and then lower the supply voltage to 5 volts. So you'll see it uh, jump down right there. Now if I uh, put the trim pot to uh, 5 volts, the output is uh, closer to 3 volts, maybe 3.5 or something. Again, it's not completely accurate right there. So you always have to uh, work within the limitations of whatever you use. But uh, the basic property of an op amp voltage follower is that uh, whatever the input voltage is, the output voltage will be the same. The op amp provides the power, so you gotta live within the op amp's power limitations instead of the trim pot's power limitations.